Hello everyone and welcome to part 8. Now we left the game right here and we had an error. How to solve these, this error? Well I just checked and saw that this instance ID does not work and what I wrote first was correct. It's just ID. Great. But if I run the game now it would be just swapping on and on. So let's just see that. It's <laughs> it's a funny one actually. So if I swap these two, look what happens. <laughs> they keep swapping uh, until the end of time. So we don't want that and have to stop this from happening. We need a new variable and call it b swap equals false. Okay. In the step event here, we say if not b swap, then run this script. So if we are not uh, swapping back, then uh, run this script. Otherwise, don't do anything. And before this, uh, we want here to say stable equals true because we don't want this script to keep running and running. Good. So here we have this equals two and in alarm two we say swiped equals true and b swap sorry b swap equals true. Now, in the step event here, we say if b swap, then do this. Else, if not, else, just b swap equals false. So we will just set it back to be false because we are done with swapping back. And this should work just fine right now. Let's just check that. All right. So if I swap these two, nothing happens and they don't go back. Interesting. So if not B swap, do this. If no match, alarm two. Good. Alarm two. Set ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, stable equals false. Okay, you see? Oh, we have a problem here. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, we just destroyed the game. All right, let's remove this stable thing. Go and unstable it. All right. So it has nothing to do with So when you do it vertically, everything is, is just fine. But when you do it horizontally, um, cool. So it has nothing to do with this stable thing. Let's, let's do it. Come back here and say okay well let's just go and keep working and then we will set everything back to its normal so here in B swap we want to set everything back so we say um, T candy equals no one So 
sorry. And we say target x equals x and target y equals y. Good. Now the problem you see the problem is that one instance reaches the position and and the other one is influencing it. So this alarm uh, this alarm is not very good. So we say set it back to delay it's all right. Actually, you know what? Let's delay everything. So we say alarm three equals delay. Okay, and we take all this, put it in alarm three. All right, come back to and we do the same here. Let's just copy this. So now we delayed everything. So if we do the, if you run the game. Hmm. So actually we did a mistake. We don't want this to happen here. So we just say script point match. Yeah. All right, things are working. Still, we still have the problem. So the problem is that we are getting the <coughs> the X before the candy arrives even. And there is a way to solve this. It's a very easy one actually. You just come here and add new variables. You say start X equals X start y equals y all right or let's say these two zero yeah this is better now here we want to set these back to start x and start y okay so we just go back to our real position and we want to set this everywhere so okay so once we swipe so we find script swipe and we say start x equals x and start y equals y. Let's run the game. All right. So it's not setting it before going there. So this is correct. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we should do this here. Target candy dot start x equals t candy dot x and t candy dot start y equals t candy dot y good
Oh my god. Camdy. Where did I write Camdy? Uh here. Candy. So, you see, things are working just fine. There are no problems whatsoever. And if we match, we get a problem. <laughs> okay. All right, so after the error, my uh, screen recorder for some reason stopped recording and I don't know why. But anyways, I uh, have to repeat what I said and the problem was uh, when we were matching, we had all the alarms set to delay. So basically we did nothing because the delay is at the same time. So we just need a different delay timing. And for that, all you have to do is to come to alarm three and change this from delay to two. It has to be two frames. You can set delay to five. It, work, it will work just fine. But this has to be two frames at least. All right. And it has to be less than the, the delay variable. All right. So now everything works just fine. I will just demonstrate this for you. you see and let's match some horizontal ones you see if I do that something that is not matching it just swaps back so everything is working fantastically and just exactly as intended great I think this is enough for this part and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.